Hey Jasmine, I wanted to look at this unit activity with you. Um, part A, you did perfectly. Um, you probably looked at the summary, which was great to get all these answers. Um, so good job on that. Good job on part B. Now let's look at part C. Um, I know this might seem very complicated at first, but hopefully um, when I give you some examples, um, it'll be a little bit less hard. So it says write a function to represent each series of transformations. So there's going to be multiple things going on. So we want to take xy just like they did here. We want to start with xy. We want to do multiple things to it and then get something as our final answer after different transformations have happened. So in this first one, um, we're going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise and then you're going to get an answer. And then you're going to take that new answer and then reflect it across the x-axis. Okay, so then for this one, you're going to start with xy, reflect it across the y-axis. Um, so what you do when you do that is you get these new um, answers here. Okay, so everything is starting off as xy and then becoming a new coordinate, just like what you put here based on the transformation. And so we're going to start with xy, reflect it, then whatever you get after you reflect it, then you're going to take that and translate it A units um, to the right and B units up. Same thing here, start with xy, translate it first. Once you get that new answer, then you're going to rotate that new answer. Then you get that new answer, and then you're going to reflect that to get your final answer. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example here. Alright, so let's say I want to do three things here. I'm going to reflect, sorry, okay. reflect over, let's say, the y-axis first. Oh, this is not writing very well. Um, and then I'm going to, let's say, translate up um, three, or actually, let's, uh, let's use letters. Let's do up k left Z. Okay. And then finally, we're going to rotate, um, let's say 180 degrees. Clockwise and counterclockwise is the same one. It's 180. Okay. So step number one, we are taking XY. That's what we're starting with. And what is that going to become when we reflect it over the Y axis? Well, you had this in your other answer. What always happens to XY when you reflect over the y-axis is that the x becomes negative and the y stays the same. Okay, so this always happens. So xy becomes negative x, y. Step one is done. Step two, now we're taking negative x, y from right here and now we need to translate that up k and left z. Remember when we go up, we're adding that to the y value and when we go left, we are subtracting that from the x value, okay? You had that in your previous answer. Um, so let's just write it out here. If you're going up, you're gonna be doing y plus whatever you're going up. If you're going down, you're doing y minus. If you're going right, you're doing x plus. And if you're going left, we're doing x minus, okay? So here, um, up y. So let's write it out as negative x, and then we'll put the comma over here, and then y. Now we can just add it in. So y is going up k. So up is y plus. So we have plus k. And left z. So left is right here. So it's going to be x minus z. So now I have negative x from here minus z. All right. So we took this and we did that change to it. Now for step three. So that's done. Step three, we are starting with negative x, negative z, comma, y plus k. This is what we're starting with. And then we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Well, when we rotate 180 degrees, if we started with the point x, y, after we rotate it, it will become negative x, negative y. Okay, you have that in your other answer. So all that's saying is that whatever is right here, becomes negative and whatever is right here becomes negative, okay? But now we're starting off with these two. So now we have to turn this whole thing negative. So if we have negative, negative x minus z, we get positive x, positive z, right? So here we have x plus z. And then if we were to take y plus k and make the whole thing 
negative, right? Because that's what's happening right here. Then we get negative y and minus k, right? So the, the negatives are being distributed to both of these in each of these cases, okay? So now we have negative y minus k. This right here is your final answer. So the important part, you already know what you're doing because you put it in your other answer of if we start with x and y, what do these things do? Okay, so you know what happens. So the, the important part here is just as soon as you get a new answer, then we take that new answer and transform it. Then we take that new answer and transform it step by step. Okay, so if we look back here, Okay, so two things are happening here. There's a rotation of 90 degrees and then a reflection. So you're going to take xy and after a rotation you're going to get a new answer. Okay, and then to do the reflection you're going to have your new answer and then reflect it to get a final answer. Okay, and same thing here. You're going to reflect this one first so you're always starting with xy for all of these. You're going to reflect it and then you're going to translate it. You're going to take your new answer and then it's a units to the right so it's x plus a and b units up so that's y plus b, right? And now for here there's three things. You're going to translate, you're going to start with x, y, you're going to translate it a right, b up, then once you get that answer then you're going to rotate that whole thing 180 degrees clockwise then you're going to take that answer and reflect the whole thing across the y-axis. Okay, so um, what you mainly need to do is look back at your answers here. Okay, and I'm going to tweak this a little bit how we write it. Okay, so translation of, um, I want you to write it like this instead. x, y becomes, so um, remember that up, is y plus, down is y minus, right is x plus, left is x minus, okay? So a units right, that's right here, so x plus a, b units up, y plus b. Okay, so this is what I want you to write for this first answer. Even though this is right, this makes it a little easier. Reflection across the y-axis, what I want you to put here is that x, y becomes negative x, y, and then here across the x-axis you're going to do x, y becomes x, negative y, okay? All right, then you're just going to use your information here to do uh, part C. So hopefully this was helpful. I want you to try it, and obviously if you have any questions you can continue to ask me. I'm here to help you.